one of the uh, most important periods in Charles' life was the time he spent in a private school. Tell, tell us a little bit more about that. His right. time at boarding school was anything but posh. Oh my gosh. Um, you could even say that I think in today's, by today's standards, mm -hmm. uh, quite controversial and right. downright... Um, it, it, barbaric, barbaric is the word I would use. It wouldn't happen. Right, right. Well, Charles attended a, a Scottish boarding school called Gordonston, and he described the experience as pure hell, torture, I hated every minute of it. And uh, what he went through was really quite alarming. I mean, as, as a boy and, and a young man, he was uh, routinely beaten by older students. He was uh, uh, hung up in, in a, naked in a shower and, and, and left, sprayed with cold water and left there. He was uh, um, you know, pummeled and wrestled to the ground and uh, he, he, wrote these, he wrote these pleading letters to his parents to please take him out of the school. He, he went to them and sobbed saying he couldn't take it anymore and yet they turned their back on him and one of his uh, schoolmates said it was uh, a miracle that he emerged uh, with his sanity intact from Isn't that, that experience. Isn't that something? Yeah, it really is. Oh my is gosh, so and he, sad. he even went through moments of depression yeah. and suicidal thoughts because oh, yeah. of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Certainly, to, by today's standards, uh, it would be akin to hazing right. or, uh, you know, child abuse, frankly. Yeah. And yet his parents turned a blind eye uh, to it. And I think that caused a tremendous resentment. You know, uh, the Queen's cousin, Margaret Rhodes, told me the relationship between. Uh, Charles and his parents uh, was never cozy uh, because the family is not set up to be cozy, she said. It's the firm. Charles's time at boarding school, obviously traumatic, mm -hmm. compounded with the fact that he was a timid, shy oftentimes, found that he didn't belong in a right. setting. Right. With all those factors mm -hmm. coming into play, what is King Charles's temperament these days? Well, it's interesting. Um, Charles uh, was shaped by all these experiences. As a result, he has always seen himself as a, what the British call a whinger, uh, you know, as a victim. A, a, a whinger is a whiner, a, whiner. a co complainer. Yeah. Uh, but he always uh, cast himself as the victim. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Camilla's role has always been to kind of try and tamp that down. And, and by the way, I have to say that the biggest misconception about Charles at this moment is that he will be a, a placeholder king, mm -hmm. uh, that he's just you know keeping the throne warm for William. Not at all, he's going to be an activist king. He's been waiting for 70 years to take this job, and that's longer than any previous monarch. Right. Well, Edward VII only had to wait 59 years to succeed Queen Victoria. Uh, so he's going to do some kind of bold moves, I think, and, mm -hmm. and uh, to change and what he calls uh, slim down the monarchy. And part of that is going to be to kick some in some cases, beloved uh, royals uh, off the payroll or, or just demote them. Some of his staff have been quoted as saying in your book, yeah. he shouts insults to staff, he's right. moody, he's right. mean, he right. can't admit himself that he is ever at fault. Right. Well, because the king, because the king and by the way, it's really hard to, to say, say that. Because he's so, been uh, known as Prince Charles. Prince Charles forever, right? Yeah. But uh, no, he is, he, he's very moody, he's very temperamental, he has a volcanic temper, in, in fact. Uh, one of his uh, valets described a scene where he lost a cufflink down the sink, uh -huh. Charles did, and got so angry that he actually tore the sink off the wall. He did this twice, by the way, <laughs> in two different places. Uh, he also uh, grabbed uh, one servant uh, around the neck and tried to strangle him in a, in a fit of rage. Uh, he hurled a very heavy boot jack, which is put on boots, which is made out of uh, iron and wood, threw this at Diana's head and narrowly missed her. So uh, he's very capable of flying into rages. And uh, can be a little bit of a hothead. A and we kind of saw head. a little bit of that with the signature of Absolutely. some documents recently. Absolutely. And the pen incident. Right. I think pen it was. Gate. Oh, God, I hate this. Oh, look, it's going everywhere. Hang on. So, come on, there's the pen. Yeah. I mean, here we are, he's just become king, he's in Scotland, uh, he really should be on his best be behavior. The world is watching his every move. By the way, there are other little quirks too about his temper that I think reveal the degree to which he's going to be one of the most uh, eccentric uh, not, uh, sovereigns uh, Great Britain has ever had. He still travels with a childhood teddy bear. Please tell us more about Teddy. Yes, Teddy is, you know, he's had it since he was a very small child. The only person who's uh, been allowed to mend King Charles' teddy bear 
uh, is uh, his childhood nanny, uh, Mabel Anderson, whom he's very close to. But he also travels with a custom-made toilet seat, that he, and he's denied this, but again, people who work in the palace, people who've worked for him say that he indeed does this. Uh, he, when he goes to dinner parties at other people's homes, he often brings his own chef so they can prepare a meal for him that he will eat separately at the table. And it doesn't matter to him how the chef for the event or no, no. the dinner party no, no. feel. No, no. He this wants is, what he wants is, he when wants, he wants it. Exactly. He wants what he wants when he wants it. And uh, one of the, I think one of the funniest quirks, and, it, and a number of royals have this, the queen had it as well, they don't like square ice cubes. They carry round ice cube trays, have them brought with them wherever they go, because they don't like the clinking sound that square cubes make. Oh, I can't even. <laughs> I can't. Y'all only- Isn't that great? Oh.